next talking about types of electricity okay so as we are going to deal about electricity in detail so we have to understand how many different types of electricities we have so first is something much static and the next is something much dynamic the name itself indicates static means we are getting we are having some amount of energy on the surface of the material like for example when you are going to rub your hands we are getting some energy nothing but frictional energy energy or the heat energy i can say so whenever if the charges are going to be developed on the surface that is nothing but static energy next we have the dynamic so whatever the electricity which we have developed if we are going to make a category in that based upon the flow of electrons okay so that is nothing but dynamic electricity so here you can see with a simple flow chart okay so electricity is classified into natural way into the artificial way so what is mean by natural the name itself indicate means the energy which we are getting in, into the natural form like your lightning strikes or thunder strokes especially in the uh, bad rainy weather conditions artificial means which we are generating okay which we are developing which we are generating okay so this artificial energy we are getting into two forms one is static one is dynamic so what is mean by static means the energy which we are generating okay it can be from hydro plant nothing but by using water as a medium thermal by going with some high grade coal nuclear by using some chemicals like uh, thoronium plutonium frictional we have hundreds of generating plants okay we have hundreds of research papers you can check your iitp blog we we'll be finding some hundreds of research papers where we are getting some energy from the frictional process so the same artificial concept we are going to derive in terms of dynamic because electricity is classified in terms of alternate current and direct current so what is the basic difference we have okay many of them doesn't know that which type of energy we have in our homes right now you can see you are using your pc you are using some lights fans and devices in your home so which type of energy we are getting we are giving nothing but ac so the energy which we are getting okay till our distribution board that will be the alternate current itself so this alternate current will have a frequency what is mean by frequency number of cycles per second just now we have seen the waveform i think with the resistive load inductive load as well as a capacitive load so there we have got one waveform the combination of positive cycle and the negative cycle will give us the one waveform so this frequency means number of cycles per second so in india and many of the asian countries we have 50 cycles only whereas when you go with any kind of european countries or any kind of western countries there you can see we'll be finding the frequency of 60 but nowadays we are having the devices which are working with 50 also which are working with 60 frequency also universal so in this ac this ac we'll go with the waveform for the better understanding so here you can see in this ac waveform you can see we have a positive cycle and we have a negative cycle okay this complete waveform will give you one cycle okay so we have the positive cycle and negative cycle over here so this because of this positive and negative cycle we are having some more losses over here having some more losses over here and this ac transmission is used in small area till 300 kilometers only if you are going to transmit the supply till 300 kilometers in that case only we recommend to go with ac line and in ac supply we are having three conductors so this three conductors i am going to denote as r phase y phase b phase it can be w x y also it can be 1 2 3 also so r y b i have indicated because r stands for red y for the yellow b for the blue only as a color codes when talking about dc nothing but direct current the frequency is zero over here we have fixed amount of magnitude like when you talk about a battery so battery is having a voltage a fixed value like 12 volt or your 48 volts or 6 volts okay? so here we have a fixed amount of magnitude value so frequency is totally zero because here we will never find any kind of positive cycle and a negative cycle so based upon that i can say that the losses are less nothing but minimum to zero i can say so this is usually long transmission more than 300 kilometers okay sometimes what happens we are going to transmit the supply okay from one point to other point like from one state to other state one city to other city the span is more than 300 we go with the direct current line and here we have only two conductors positive and the negative conductor plus and minus conductor here we are saving the cost of a conductor also following i hope it's very clear regarding the classification for everyone any doubts now you can please clarify